was thinking we could like yeah. hang something between here. I'm recording. Okay. Oh, I plan on putting friggin' Christmas trees back yeah. here. All right, ready? Hello and welcome to the Walk and Love podcast. I am TJ. And I'm Brooke. And we're in the attic. And we're also on what? video. And we're going to try to figure out what to talk about as we go. <laughs> but we also do have some questions. So there's lots of things happening. Realizing I'm on video right now. That's a little dance I do every time the song plays. I know. So we're not gonna be able to pick our maybe we'll just lean into it. I think we should I'm gonna lean do into everything it. I always do. The butt scratching, the nose picking, the sniffing. All of it. We're in the attic. Welcome. Welcome, podcast listeners. This is also now available on video as long as everything goes to plan. Yeah. So So maybe. I mean, I see the red button. Yeah. Are you saying see the world or see world? I'm saying that you might see us right. or you might just hear us. Yeah. So I'm not saying see, see, I'm saying sound works. see, hear. Uh, thank you for listening. I, I, uh, yeah, I, I'm kind of stunned. <laughs> and watching? And watching? And being with a, your ears? And me, <laughs> thank you for watching with the eyes in your skull. Good brain connected great to skull. the eyes, which is in the great skull. Um, yeah, so we're we're in the attic. We skipped last week, which we appreciate you guys just being cool with that, although you had no choice. Yeah, um, but, uh, but also you're welcome. Yeah, you're welcome. For last week. Well, no, that was two weeks ago. We skipped last week. Oh. Two weeks ago was Butthole. Two weeks ago, Butthole. We were in welcome. Buttholeville two weeks ago. <laughs> <laughs> I don't ever want to go there again, if that's what we're calling it. <laughs> last week, we just didn't have an episode because we wanted to be up here, and here we are. Yeah. Um, and so this week, we are not prepared. Uh, <laughs> no notes. Yeah, it's a little bit of a no, no notes show. No notes. Yeah. No notes. It's like half no notes. notes. Obviously, I'm looking at something here. Um, it's just a picture of a kitten. Um, <laughs> it's just, a cat. Yeah, it's just to inspire yeah, it's me. Piano yeah. cat or whatever. Piano cat just to inspire me. Um, yeah. So we're gonna answer some of the questions that we because two weeks ago for the butthole episode. <laughs> Furthermore, <laughs> known as butthole. Yeah. Um, we had done a whole episode, answered yeah. questions, and there's part of me that maybe like the Lord just like was like, you didn't say anything good. <laughs> Delete. <laughs> Garbage. <Yeah>. And <laughs> turns off the power. Power went down, and so we lost it. So then we just did that short episode, skipped last week, and here we are. Um, so I have one review from a few weeks ago. Uh, we're going to go into songs of the week, and then we're going to do some... We're just, we're just going to have some fun today, no note style, see where we go. Brooks learning the equipment. So another thing that happened was we decided we wanted to do like a multi-camera edit, like live shooting, yeah. editing things so that, so Brooke can switch the camera at any time. Right. We've used this before. Yes, we have way We've back, had it a while. way back when. And so, but we, we needed new cameras for it. Yeah. So we bought cameras. I had them scheduled to pick. So I went through the whole checkout process. First of all, first of all, first of all, we knew we wanted to do this yes. and we bought cameras online last L night. Last night. Yeah. So we were prepared. Let me just say that we were super prepared, Deeply prepared. And uh, so I was like, I'm going to buy them at Best Buy because they're nearby and I can pick them up. We're going through the whole checkout process. Yep. Available in store. Available in store. Pick up, pick up as early as tomorrow. I buy them. And then it says, oh, you can only pick up your memory cards tomorrow. The camera's <gasps> on Sunday. Lies. Liars. Lies from the pit. And so, oh. so I had to cancel my order and I went with Amazon. But we're using iPhones today. Yeah. So that hopefully the quality will be a little bit better when the cameras come in. And in we'll the have, future. In the future. We'll have, <laughs> we'll have three cameras. One getting both of us. One getting beautiful Brooke. And then one on me that'll look like this. Oh, wait, wait. I don't think I'm not on that one. Hold on. Oh, there we go. <laughs> I hope it looks exactly yeah, like it's that. Gonna look just that's like that. Fantastic. And then when we do our Christmas extravaganza live stream, we'll have we'll, we'll be have doing eighteen cameras. We'll have we'll have forty five cameras that'll just like we'll do the matrix thing just over and over yeah. again. You know what I mean? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I do know what you mean. Everyone knows it's a matrix. Does does everybody? Are, are we in the matrix? Are we <laughs> what is I was that? so early on. What episode? Do you remember that? That was a joke on here for a while. Oh, really? Are we in the Matrix? Oh, yeah. But I don't remember how I don't or know. why. Yeah. <laughs> no, we just talked. My, my favorite thing right now is people messaging me and being like, hey, so you talked about this on one episode. And I'm like, I, I literally, every, I just believe people. Every time the answer. I'm like, we did. Okay. Th no, uh, no. They asked me which episode. Oh, And oh. I'm just like, I have no idea. 
Well, yeah, I have no idea. Yeah, I've forgotten everything. Brooke has definitely forgotten everything, and I am close to forgetting everything. <laughs> um, so I have one review to 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 read, and then we have some exciting <laughs> song of the news, song of the week news. Mm. So, Bork, Borky all day. First of all, I'm inspired by your daughter's naming gifts. I had a stuffed panda while growing up named Panda, so that pretty much sums it up. Also, you guys make my Monday morning commute and work time not not only bearable, but something I look forward to. You're relatable and encouraging without being aggressive and shaming. So thank you for being a bright spot in social media. Finally, my husband and I are obsessed with your Spotify playlist and would formally like to put in a request for a playlist, Christmas playlist, hashtag Christmas starts in November. Absolutely. A hundred percent. We're about to decorate our whole house. Like we're there. Oh yeah. It's just a matter of like climbing up to the part in the garage and right. getting we're all not that stuff. Yeah, I'm not there because, you know, there's ladders involved. Right. Um, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to pause song of the week, worship song of the week. I thought you were telling me I needed to pause them <laughs> on this video. Did you see me I panic? Saw, yeah. I was like, oh my gosh, there's uh, not a pause button. Okay. So we're going to pause song of the week, worship yes. song of the week on Apple and Spotify. You can still play them. Still great playlists. They're not going anywhere. They just won't. Still great. Still good. Both good. Um, both good. Um, but then from now on, now until Christmas, we are going to add... Christmas songs of the week. We're going to do two songs yes. each week. Yes. We're going to try to pick a different artist each week. What? Well, at least for the beginning. Like, okay. Because basically all we've been listening to is, is one, album. one album. So much that June kind of has all the words memorized. It's, and it's the sweetest thing ever. Um, but also, I feel like Christmas music playlists are meant to be shuffled. So Yeah, very like, rarely are you like, okay, track one, yeah, track two, yeah. track three. Unless you're listening to someone's album. That makes sense because they did that on they purpose. They did that on purpose. That's how albums work. Um, but Christmas playlists are meant to be shuffled. So it might feel yeah. a little disjointed if you're like, I'm going to play this in order. And it's like, you know, really melodic, cool mm. song. One of those. Yeah. Yep. Song. Like it's like, yep. should I I'm record a song one. for the playlist? I mean, I'm already, I didn't pause. I'm already hitting record. Yeah. So maybe I should just. One, two, two three. three. Four. Jingle Holiday bells, spirit. jingle bells. Nope. <laughs> no, we all all right. Two different songs. <laughs> um, and uh, so we're going to do four songs every week, add to the playlist, Walk and Love podcast playlist, <laughs> Worship Christmas. Stop. It's a 35 day plan. <laughs> One point. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it sounds like you're saying. <laughs> One point per day, 35 days. We'll be back in business. Keep the twirl. Keep the twirl. Um, I did not type your songs down. Okay, cool. Uh, but your first song is from She and Him. I got it, I got it, I got it, okay. I got it, I got it. I got it. Cool. Wow, I'm starting things off. Yep. Whew, I'm sweating. Okay. She and Him, anything this to say the, about them? No, it's Zoe Deschanel. Zoe. If you didn't know. Yep. AKA New Girl, AKA yep. Jessica Day. So because we're going on YouTube, I think oh. I have to limit the amount of song I play. Oh, no. Yeah. So, but that was She and Him, Rocking Around the Christmas Tree. Yeah. Um, what was your other song? I know. No, no. I know. I know. I remember. I remember. Wait for it. Wait for it. Wait for it. Wait for it. Nope. Yep. Well, the weather outside is frightful, but this fire is so delightful. And since we've no place to go, let it snow, let it snow, let it snow. Well, it doesn't show signs of stopping. It's really limited, isn't it? Like 15 seconds? I think it's seconds? 30 seconds. I think you can use 30 seconds. But again, I'm not sure. So... If you're, I'm, if, I'm panicked. My wing one is panicked right well, now, babe. If you're using it to talk about it, oh, that might be different than if it's like the background of our yeah. Whole video. And so if, if if we can, and again, I haven't I haven't done this on YouTube in a long time. Right. We so we're we'll, deeply prepared. Of we'll course. see. We'll see what happens. But that's the idea: is that we're going to just play a lo little bit of the song, uh -huh, uh -huh. Um, unless we get the artist. So if Ben Rector, that was Ben Rector. Let us know mm -hmm. if he wants to call in anytime. Any. And just give us permission to use all of his music. That's fine. Cool. We'll allow it. You know, let me talk to the label. I don't yeah. know. Yeah. I don't know. Um, the next song is the album that we've been listening to so much lately. It's called yes. Holiday Cheer by Bien. 
who I did one of my deep dives. So I yeah, do these, that's how you found I this. do these, uh, musician deep dives where I go back and find musicians that I like and either, and just basically search for the lead singers. Right. It's not really a deep dive. It's just like, Hey, it's I, Googling. I Googled this lead singer's name. Turns out they're in another band and it's also good. Wow. Both good. So this artist is originally Jesse early. Still, still is. Still That's still her life. name. I think. I don't know. I don't know what her birth certificate says. I don't know if she's changed Jesse, it. If you want to call in, just call in just and, let and let us know. us know what your official name is. That's great. Uh, yeah. Ben's on the line. We'll put him on hold. You can call in. It'll be great. Um, but she also just released an EP, which would probably have been my regular song of the week, but yes. that's paused. Um, this Unlike this video <laughs> that I'm still recording. I got it, babe. How much sweat is dripping oh, down your lot. back? Yeah, just a lot. a lot of just. It's not really my back. It's it's <laughs> elsewhere. <laughs> Forgot it was on video. It's right here. I might have to wear my poison deodorant while we film. <laughs> I love this motion. It's, it's right here. It's right here <laughs> in the. Um. So, anyways, Jesse earlier also. I get. I think it's another girl that's in this with her. I. I don't really understand how it works. Um, yeah, music. that was the extent of your deep dive. Um, but yeah, but this album, Holiday Cheer by BN, yes. will probably be on repeat. The whole album. Nonstop throughout Christmas. It's already and it was been. And it was kind of hard to pick just one song for this week. So I'm going to say a couple of my favorites. Holiday Cheer. Yep. Starts off strong. Um, the Best is Yet to Come. Ooh. Uh, also a favorite song titled by Judah. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. wow. Um, become a child again and uh, every day's a holiday. So th- those are all great songs. Yeah. But we're gonna just start with holiday cheer, but go listen to the whole album. Christmas time is coming, we're gonna get a treat, gonna light it up, put the presents underneath. Hey, hey. It's a holiday. Gonna get together with friends and family. It's very good. Very good. And June sings every word now. She has to listen to it this morning on the way to school. And uh, she loved it. She loved it. And that was the end of the story. I loved it. That was a great story. (laughs) Okay. It's a little rough. Are you still recording? Probably not. I am. Um, my next song is another band that we featured before, The Light, The Heat. Mm. And they have a Christmas album, a Christmas EP. Again, excellent. Very, very good. Um, but I'm going to pick O Come Emmanuel, which is one of my favorite, like just slow. It's almost like a Christmas hymn. It's Christmas. It's one of my favorite Christmas hymns. Yeah. It's the only one that I can think of, but it's my favorite. Joy to the world. What? Yeah. Silent night. Oh, okay. Holy night. Okay, I like all those too, but this one's called Come Emmanuel mm. by the Light the Heat. It's just so good. He actually could potentially call in. I do have his phone number. (laughs) You call him randomly. Hey, you're on the podcast. (laughs) You called into the podcast. We're live. We called you. you. (laughs) What are you doing? He's like, oh, I. uh... Is this TJ? (laughs) Yeah. Okay. We're not that close. But. (laughs) Dang it. Anyways. Excellent. We'll add those songs. We'll make a new new playlist. It'll be linked. We'll also just have the old playlist linked too in case you want to go and check out what other music we like. That's it. That was a long way to the well. (laughs) But we have a Christmas playlist. We took the long route to the well. Our donkeys are dead. <laughs> Horgan Trail style. We've all died. <laughs> um, no notes. Yeah, for yeah, sure. For sure. For sure. No notes. Cool, 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 cool. No, cool. notes? No, no notes. No notes. Um, At all. So, <laughs> but you are recording. What is Dwight type on it? It's like Dwight, 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 yeah, Dwight, right? Yeah. Um, so from the one angle, I can I can't read your screen, but I can tell that there's words on okay, it. Okay, nice. That's cool. So I can see that there's some notes. <laughs> some notes, yeah. Maybe. It's mostly the questions that we answered already. Who am I? <laughs> what am I doing here? Where are we? <laughs> um, so yeah, last night on, on <clears throat> Instagram, we posted a post 
explaining the Christmas extravaganza. But yes. in case you didn't see, we're going to explain it here. So on December 3rd, the, the, the Christmas extravaganza is December 4th. Friday. Friday, December 4th. It'll start around 6 p.m. and we'll go until um, we basically we've given away all prizes or are tired, tired or whatever. Our, our phones kids, die. Yeah. <laughs> Our kids probably, more probably, realistic. probably are more realistic yeah. that the phones are going to be dead. <gasps> um, we might do this as well. We might record the podcast. Like we might record as we go. Right. Just so we can have record of it. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Um, with our eyes. And, and maybe your ears. Yeah. If, but with hearing. Um, <laughs> so on December 3rd, though, the day before at 9 p.m., we are going to release limited edition prints. Those prints will be four by six prints. They'll be five dollars each. And every one that you buy enters you in to win some of the prizes. So it's sort of like a raffle, except you also get a really sweet print that Brooke and I are going to sign as a thank you. For, Swack. So yeah, we're going to seal it with a kiss. I'm going to put, yeah, Brooke's going to put some lipstick on, and I'll sign it. All of them. Every single one. Seems uh, real sanitary. Seems real good, yeah. yeah Especially yeah. in sort of the, the COVID era. I think people will really appreciate yeah. that. I'm going to sneeze on each one of them. Okay. Uh, just get a little bit of uh, my phlegm and liquid out. Oh, gosh. Oh, don't ever say that. What? Too um, far. Never. Yeah, too far. Never um, and so we are going, I, I just had a panic that I wasn't recording. I know. Just for a, a split lot to second. Think about. Yeah. My, luckily, mine is, is yours red? Is your button red? Yeah. Okay, mine's red too. So that means recording. We're good. Um, Which so, is weird because a green means go. Green means go. Red means stop. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know why. I, I guess know. record buttons have always been red. I think it's you just so have you to do a deep dive, babe. I, yeah, on deep the dive. Um, find out. Yeah, I'll, I'll do that. Um, why are record buttons red? I think it's so you can glance down and know, like, oh, it's on. <laughs> real <laughs> subtle. I'm I being think real subtle. I think it's on. Yeah, it's on. Um, so you can buy the prints. Yes. I think we're gonna have a few styles. So if you want to. Buy multiple entries. You're not buying the same print. Although you could buy the same print 10 times and give nine of them away. And then we're going to go live around 6 p.m. on December 4th. And we're going to start picking order numbers and people to give prizes to as we sign the prints. Um, and some of those prizes will be random. We'll just literally like tape a print to it. And then that will, you'll win a bag of sour candy or a book or something like that. And yeah. then for some of the bigger prizes, like the blades, <laughs> the, I'm looking, the prizes are over here. I'm looking at them. Um, the bl- should I tilt this camera to get a prize cam? Don't. I wouldn't move it. Okay. Mm-mm. Yeah, no. I was well, just next kidding. week we'll have a prize cam, people. You know, prize cam coming soon. We don't have it right um, now. Bunch of books. But for like the bigger prizes, like the blades, the air fryers, the instacks, we're going to probably pick people from the uh, the pool of people who purchased yes. prints. Right. But then throughout the night, we're also just going to pick people who are watching. So you don't necessarily have to purchase. Right. It'll increase your chances dramatically. Mm-hmm. But we will b- pick people... If for some reason the five dollar print is in your budget, we will pick people that are just watching and tuning in yeah. to win some of the prizes. Some of the bigger ones though will just be print purchases only, raffle tickets. It's, it's essentially yeah. Um, and then we are also going to give away a thousand dollars. Wow! 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 Yes, <laughs> we are. We are not are saying, saying see the a thousand world pennies or Sea World. We are saying a thousand dollars for you to help you this Christmas season to buy Christmas gifts to pay rent, to buy whatever, groceries, I don't know, Beanie Babies, whatever you want to buy. It's your $1,000. We're just going to Venmo it to you. If you don't have Venmo, I'm going to just wonder how old you are. Right. What's it like or being I'm gonna 65? Suggest, hey, maybe sign up maybe since just, you are the winner yeah, of the $1,000. Sign $1, up so we can send you money. Yeah. Um, and really, the reason that we're doing this, one, is just to have fun because we like having fun. We love being generous. Um, and we just want to say thank you for such a great year that we've had. Yep. Um, and so... We'll probably give away more than a thousand dollars. I'll just say that. Oh, yeah, I, I get what you're saying. Oh, no. I winked. Uh, oh, for I... those of you not watching, mm-hmm. big old wink. Um, and uh, we're gonna give away some T-shirts, mm-hmm. some samples, maybe some samples that have sold out. <gasps> and then there also might be a few other surprises. There's lots of things gonna happen. Lots of books to give away. It's gonna be super fun, and we're really excited. So. We'll, we'll post all of this on social media yeah. as it comes closer. We'll tell you when the print's available to buy. Um, and yeah, it'll just be really, really fun. Anything to add to that? Should we no. show some of the prizes? You sure. Okay, I'm going I'm to go grab them. Okay, don't You just knock keep anything. talking. Don't knock anything. Don't knock anything. No, I really don't know which items I'm most excited about. I think I'm most ex- It's so dumb. I think I'm most excited about the rollerblades, which seems so silly because like, I do mean those rollerblades. Roller Careful. Um, I, my also roller good blades, advice for when you're on rollerblades. 
What? Careful. Oh, careful. Yes. Growing up, my rollerblades were like dark gray. And so, you know, you've got this like clippy here. Oh, there goes my mic. Um, That like. Tell me about the clippy. The buckle. That's what I'm talking about. The clippy buckle. This clicking buckle. Yep. Oh, nice. I like that. See, mine had like four of those. Oh, okay. Like all the way down. So it kind of hurt so after a while, <laughs> but I was in. I was strapped in and I was ready to you launch off that anywhere. driveway. Nope. Yep. These seem Straight into the better. grass. Yeah, yeah. My <laughs> ramp was into the grass for sure. We have we have <clears throat> four boxes, I think 40 bags of these to give away. So by the time we get there, maybe 35 because uh, I'm yeah. definitely going to eat some. Yeah. We have lots of books that have meant a lot to us. So The Next Right Thing by Emily P. Freeman. Yep. We have Parenting with Heart by Stephen James, which is probably my book of the year, mm-hmm. um, which we'll do a recap of all of our favorite things of the year at the That's end of the right. year. We do. And then we we'll get really emotional. Um, the Lazy Genius, Love Does, The Path Between Us, Chasing Slow, To Hell with the Hustle, Love That Lasts, 31 Creative Ways to Love Your Spouse. Um, some other friends are sending some other books. We have an Instax camera, two Instax cameras that we're going to give away. Yeah. That's um, fun. We would have done Polaroid, but we were able to buy more Instax because they're a little cheaper. We're mm-hmm. going to give away some house shoes. Uh, we got two, we got four or five rock tumblers to give away, 10 air fryers. Um, yeah, just, you know, especially just for you. the usual stuff. Yeah, just the normal giveaway stuff. <laughs> uh, but it, I think it's just like, it's just more fun because you've listened to the podcast. You know that we make jokes about this kind of stuff all the time or you follow us on Instagram and you see it. And so like, we didn't want to just give away like things that are cool. We wanted to give away things that had meaning to us. Hey, wait a second. Yeah. I mean, an air fryer is about as cool These as it gets. These things are cool. <laughs> and they mean something to us? Yeah. Let's they just do. say you, you wake up, you're like, I'm going to put my blades on. I'm going to go down the street, you know. While my air fryer's frying. While my air fryer's frying. I'm going to go for a quick the, blade run. Just a quick blade to my place where I'm going to read one of these books and I'll blade yeah. back. Air fryers will be done. Right. Have some chicken wings. Sour candy in your pocket. <laughs> Sour candy in the pocket. If I can rock find it. Rock tumbler's been going for days. Yeah. Rock tumbler's obviously always going, except ours isn't right now. We need to get that know, started. Need, yeah. Um, and it's just, you're just living your best life. Yeah. I get it. Yeah. I can picture it. <laughs> we, this is literally our yeah, life. Minus the roller blades. I don't really blade anywhere. Uh, yeah. Not yet. yet. <laughs> <laughs> So we're super excited and we hope that you can join us and you can win even if you can't join the live stream. But the only way you can win by not joining the live stream is by is buying, by a, buying print. a print ticket. But thing. there will be prizes for people who are literally just watching and we'll yeah. do some trivia again like we did a couple weeks ago. Yeah. Um, sour pit, sour candy's going away. Yeah. I can smell it. Through the bag? Yeah. Pick up the bag. You can oh. smell it. For real? Yeah. No. I think your your mind is remember. Are you getting sour yeah. just looking at the bag? Uh, oh, that's real. They're so good. I could eat five bags of those in one Strawberry, day. Strawberry, green apple, and blue raspberry. So so good. Um, so yeah, we're super excited. Brooke, anything else to add to no, the extravaganza? Not yet. Um, mm-hmm. still recording. Still recording. Okay. Uh, how was your week? <clears throat> My week was. good. I have your answer from two weeks ago, okay, so I can't. So that's help. garbage because I don't know this week. <laughs> Let alone two weeks ago. <laughs> so I'm here. And before here, you were getting ready to I be here. I got ready to be before here. Before that, you took Sunny okay, to your mom's house, your parents' house. Last night, I went to bed. <laughs> I showered before that. This is how Brooke tells time, by the way. I'll in reverse. Like, back, back in the day when you could go to the movies, which yeah. is really fun. Um, it's a stark room. There's remember, a big screen. Um, yeah. Seats that recline. Right. Really great, great experience. Um I'd be like, our movie's at 6. Brooke would be like, okay, we're leaving the house at 5.30. At 5.20, I'm finding my keys. At yep. 5.10, I'm putting on my shoes. At blah, 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 blah. It, Side note, it does not take me 10 minutes <laughs> no, to put my shoes on. But but that was the idea. And they were like, at 4 o'clock, I'm doing my makeup. That right. means at 3.45, I'm getting out of the shower. That means at 3.30, I'm getting in the shower, whatever. And I'm suddenly already 15 yes. minutes late. And, and uh. we're talking about this two days before, and you're like, I'm late. I'm already late. <laughs> not quite that late, <laughs> um, but... Yeah, so it's an easier way to figure out when you should. I get it. I get it. But really nilly it also, like, but it's not a great way to remember what you did this week. <laughs> no. <laughs> this week we true. spent most of our time kind of getting. Yeah, you know, I've been building furniture up here, although it's that that was not a ton of stuff. Right. Cleaned out the garage. Um, yeah. But we've just been basically keeping kids alive, listening to Holiday Cheer by Bien. That's that's which is the truth. Moy Bien. The. <laughs> get it. Jokes. Yeah, I, like I got jokes. jokes all day. Um. The. I've been posting a lot of stories. That's true. That's what I've been doing. 
I'm, I've backed up enough hit in my time news. now hit them with the that news, I know babe. where I'm at in the world. Um, Beauty Counter's Black Friday sale is now wow, 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 wow. wow. through the 29th. Wow, 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 oh, wow. Okay. Um, that's good. Wait. It's... Wait a minute. 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 Should What's I tell you Beauty more? Counter? Beauty Counter is a clean beauty brand based out of Santa Monica, California. And you? And I sell it because I love it. Wow, 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 wow. It's good stuff. Yeah. Makeup, skincare, a couple other things. Charcoal body wash for men. There you go. I, I use like it. that. Wow. Energizing. Yeah. Um, wow. Suddenly I found myself <laughs> and I was already in the show. If you rub it in it your eyes, confusing. it really opens them up. Um, <laughs> <laughs> no, but it's 15% off site wide. Which is like um, a pretty big deal for them. They, yeah, don't, they don't do a lot of sales. They don't do a lot of sales. So that's a big deal in and of itself. And then it's free shipping on all orders over $50 which is not hard to get to. Right. So that's, it's good. It's real good. Linked if you've in been the description. waiting four or five sent you samples and you're like, oh yeah, next time it's on sale. This is that moment. This is that time. <laughs> Probably won't happen yeah. again. There, there won't be a sale till like, I don't know, right next June. Okay, wow. They'll do like a- Wow, 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 wow. Buy this, get that. Or like, yeah. they'll do like specific offers. But not just everything. But a site-wide sale with a discount. No. What's your jam? Ooh, well- the holiday sets are good. Um, is your jam leaving makeup boxes all over the house? That is. Because that's kind of... I also can't find any of them. I never know where I need... What, what, I just... It's a blur, you guys. This is how a I feel very about... shimmery, beautiful makeup blur. Beauty counter I boxes. Find what I need. <laughs> it's only worse right now because I have all the holiday yeah, stuff. Yeah, it's everywhere. Still in Fine. boxes. I'm just so patient. It's literally all right there. You're so patient. Patient, full of love. Um. Okay, well, I've been using the... Um, the Winter Warmth Duo, Our which four is a highlighter. Male audience members are just tune in, guys. Just, just lean into lean this in, moment. but this might be a good Christmas. Can be a good gift. Gift. It's a great gift. Yep. Um, which is like a very golden warm highlighter with a cream eyeshadow. I've been using an orange highlighter. Nice. Yeah, in but your books. For, for books. Cool. Um, and then there's this one called the Golden Hour Palette. Gotta which have is a that. highlighter, yeah, a blush, and four eyeshadows all in one palette, and it's very good. I you definitely think that's gonna sell out. Okay. I'm wearing both of those things right now. Wow. I'm not wearing um, either. Nice. But I, I also don't have my orange highlighter. It's hate. downstairs. Okay. Uh, that would have been, been really cool. If yeah. I was like, oh, like, you mean this? You mean this highlighter? I'd be like, why is it down in your shirt like a lady? <laughs> I wear it on a necklace. Oh. <laughs> Obviously. It's clipped to a chain. Got yeah. it. Of course. Click, click. I got it. Yep. It's one of the... Yeah. Although, <laughs> speaking of highlighters, June's toy of choice right now yeah. is five highlighters. Five... Literally. A blue one, a yellow one, a green one, a pink one, a pink one, and an orange one. Yep. The clicky kind, like the sharpie kind of like. Where you click the top and yep. it like pokes out the bottom. Yeah. <clears throat> and she has been bringing them to the park. Yep. She brought them this morning in the car. Yep. She's takes them everywhere. They're yep. her favorite choice, to, toy of choice. Yesterday we went to run some errands and and we were literally walking the door. She goes, oh, let me get my highlighters. So. She just likes she's, little. She's a collector. She's a collector, yeah. 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 Uh, and Sunny is the destroyer. No, I'm no. just kidding. She's fine. She's fine. She's not. She Sunny's the Sunny's so capable. She's so much more capable than June oh was goodness. at that age. Like she the, does the, stuff sometimes, the, and I'm like, you're two. Yeah. The past few days, like now, what? basically every time I make eggs, she tries to help me crack them. It stresses her out a little bit because she <laughs> cracks them, and then she doesn't know what to do with them. Um, right. She, she can actually do it. Yeah. We do have some crunchy eggs from time to time, but it's fine. It's worth it. Uh, <laughs> and then she helps me stir them, and she loves it. And we do that almost every morning. So. Uh, but that's my highlighter story. Yeah. Do you have any funny, sunny stories recently? Am I supposed to? I don't know. I'm, I'm just blanking. asking. I'm sure that I do. Oh, well, here's one. I can't believe I remember oh, this. Oh, yeah. Nice. Um, so she's looking. So, well, like, hold on. Sidebar. I'm going to tell the story. There's a lot of good things that I like about the beauty counter stuff. Yeah. It's all highlighted on my other account. Easy, pretty clean. Linked it's in the description. There. Go there if you have questions. Yeah. Okay. You could also request samples, although I don't know if the samples will get there in time for you then to... Maybe. By the sale. It'll be I tight. I don't know. It would be a tight window. Yeah. Sorry. So, that's okay. Should have done it weeks ago. I know. It's all right. Um, we were too busy talking about levels. <laughs> um, we didn't have time for that. So Sunny's looking at the Target ad, like the- um, The toy the, the toy, toy magazine that they send you that right, sends like, your kids into a fiery a, fury a of uh, materialism, yes. which is great. We love it. That one. <laughs> So we have one from Amazon. And then Amazon comes We have one from Walmart, Walmart and we have one from Target. Day. Anyway, Sunny is looking at her puppy book, as she calls it, because bullseye's on the front. Yep. Um, and June's like, how do you know its name? And I'm like, 
because it's bullseye the target dog i don't know i just know that i have a tattoo on my my back shoulder yeah <laughs> oh you mean this bullseye right here this dog it's not a bullseye it's actually the dog bullseye is tattooed anyway sonny's like in a panic about needing this set of three mermaid i think maybe they're like swim dolls i don't know really it's one of them's ariel oh it's yeah like ariel, ariel and her sisters, and her whose sisters whose who's we, don't, we don't know so i make them up every time and she goes no yeah i'm like that's jessica ariel's sister no that doesn't like, seem right oh Cindy? They, they say the names in the beginning of the first movie. It's what they sing. And then they're like, her voice is like a bell. Like that song. And then they say it's her sister Ariel. And she's not there. This is from a movie? Oh my gosh. Stop. <laughs> stop. I can't right now. Anyway, Sunny's in a panic about needing these dolls immediately yep. right now. She needs them. And I was like trying to get her attention. I'm like, Sunny, you need to ask for them for Christmas. Like very firmly. Yes. I'm like, get it together, yeah. kid. And she, but with just like love and patience, with all yeah. The love in yeah, heart. just yeah, without a skipping a beat, she turns to look at our home pod and goes, <laughs> right. "Hey, Christmas," and she just waits for it to respond. And I'm like, <laughs> "Oh my word, she's uh, asking Christmas for what she wants." Because we also figured out that the device, if we ask it how many days until Christmas. It It'll will tell, tell us. And I think that's where or I'm she, like, you can listen to yeah. that. Ask Siri. So yeah. like just her idea of like, ask for it yeah. for Christmas. She thought, yeah. all right, here we go. Hey, Christmas. <laughs> and it was the best. The other great sun sunny story that had just happened is she's getting ready. It was a warm day. Her cousins who live next door were playing outside on the, on the oh. driveway. And she was going to go outside to play with them. And Sunny is at that age right now where she's very temperamental of yeah. like playing with other kids or kids holding her things or touching Sharing her things. Is hard. Like it's just she's really too. hard. And uh, so we're, you know, we're, we're working with her on that and some of the rage fire that she has burning bright within her. Um, <laughs> just a couple of things we're trying out as parents. Um, and so <laughs> she go, she's getting ready to play. And you were actually there. I wasn't there. Yeah. You just retold me the story. Yeah. She walks down the front steps a little bit. Turn, well, first she gives thumbs up all yeah. the time. So yeah. know, know that she's doing that. She yeah. turns and looks at me. Gives me a thumbs up and is like, no pushing. And what was the other one? No. No yelling. No yelling. I got this. And then she walked out and to play. And then walks out to play. And though, pushed and gray I, into the street. No, right. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Basically. No, she didn't. Not then. Yeah. But it was like, she, I have been trying to, I mean, I tell her that all the time. Right. But I've been trying to remind her like right in that moment, yeah. right before she's about to go join a group of friends or cousin, yeah. cousins mostly. We have no yeah. friends. Um, <laughs> it's warm in an attic alone. Ah. Um, I try, I do try to, I wish I had the, uh, the one that was like, <laughs> too far. Um, so I have been reminding her of that and I reminded her earlier that morning, but yeah, to hear her repeat it back was like, okay, and then yeah. be like, kids are listening. I got this. Yeah. It was like, yeah, you do, babe. Yeah. <laughs> ah, and like, oh, opposite, of, opposite of the, what we're trying to get her to do. Um, yeah. So it was cute. That was really cute. Um, yeah. so we're going to answer some questions that we tried to answer couple of weeks ago uh hopefully you're we're just gonna like jump around and pick a couple <clears throat> yeah i think well there's 20 questions we, okay. we were like we're gonna answer 20 questions because it's 2020 that was our oh, idea okay now i'm remembering um some of them are like literally one word answers right so that we'll just like so i think we can get through all 20 we're at about 33 minutes okay i think you know we're usually around an hour i don't know <laughs> 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 We're very articulate wow. on this uh, episode. Um, it's because our brains are thinking about, well, at least my brain is thinking about something else. <laughs> are you just going, I'm recording, I'm recording, I'm recording. No, I'm, I'm recording. not worried it's okay. going to stop recording. What? I can see it. <laughs> I can see it blinking at me. <laughs> okay, question number one. Will there be a sample sale this year? Yes. Yes. It will go live as soon as we send out all the actual orders. Yep. Uh, things won't last long, though. That's for sure. Yeah. Because like, they're literally samples. Yeah, samples. So they're good. I and mean, it's the same stuff we sold. But nothing's been worn or washed or anything like, like that. But it might be like one medium in this one style and, yeah. you know, two smalls. Like, so it won't just be like a fully stocked store. Right. Um, uh, number two, Mount Rushmore's of holiday foods. Ooh. Christmas cookies. Just the general tray of Christmas cookies. I put Rice Krispie treats in there. And I'm doing the holiday desserts. Let's be real. Right. Otherwise, what is it like? Cranberries? <laughs> Cranberry flavor? What, like what, I do like the what's a holiday? cranberry oh, can. Yeah. I love it. The glug. Yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> cranberry jelly. That's the movement. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so I would say Christmas cookies. Uh, Rice Krispies. Rice Krispie treats. 
I would say like hot chocolate. We yeah. don't, I don't eat, I don't drink that a lot during the year. It's not right. like, you know, it's July and I'm like, mm, I have a cup just of hot. a nice cup of cocoa. What are you doing, TJ? Oh, I'm just drinking some cocoa. Just sitting <laughs> on the porch, sweating. Bugs are biting me. Surrounded by bugs. <laughs> it's fine. Just I love sipping it. away. Hot cocoa. And uh, let me think of a fourth one while you go. Oh, gosh. <laughs> okay. Um, definitely Christmas cookies. I would say like chocolate covered pretzels. Like something so in we're the, just we're all yeah, in on the sweet. I'm just all in on the sweet. Tell me what is what's a holiday food that's not a sweet? Like turkey, mashed potatoes. If you're going Thanksgiving, but that's like Thanksgiving. Yeah, I'm thinking Christmas. Christmas foods. Foods. For us, it's Chinese food. We eat we Chinese do. food on New Year, Christmas Eve. Yeah. And New Year's Eve. Wow. And most Fridays. Right. Well, yeah. Um, <laughs> we're very healthy. Wait. Um, <laughs> we've deeply prepared for a lot of areas of our life. Um, cookies. Cookies. I, I had cookie. four answers last yeah, time. Yeah, you did. And I remember none of them. Nice. So I'm going to pound my You're going to pass. pass. Take too wow. Long. Okay. Um, what's the difference between figuring it out as you go? I think you're seeing that right Oof. now and jumping in prematurely. So we did actually answer this question. The figuring yeah. out as you go is really like there's never a perfect time to start. And so I think you're going to always, to some extent, figure things out as you go, like we're doing right now. <laughs> we could have set up all the right cameras and done all like, and done like yeah. a total test run. And like, even then we'd still be figuring it yeah, out. Yeah. You know, you, we would still be episode. checking if it's recording. We, you know, we would probably have some like, oh, that camera should be changed a little bit, or you should have your screen here or whatever. Like, yeah. Um, and so but, I'm already thinking all yeah. these things about the way. Uh, Yeah. I'm, I'm well aware. Yeah. Brooke's line after she cooks a meal for the first time is I already know how to make this better. <laughs> Um, but then I don't write it down, so I forget. No, yeah, that's that's. So the then next right time I'm like, I feel like I was gonna change something, something about this. Swami, 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 Samson. Samson I, I knew it started with an S. Okay. Though. Um, and so, but jumping in prematurely is like I have no plan. I I've asked no one for advice. No one for advice. Did I no research. Done any, done any research, and I'm just gonna start this. And usually that just like you're you're gonna you're not gonna finish it. Yeah. basically is what that's yeah. going to be. So that I, I do think that there's this element of like, we're always figuring things out as we go. Like, I think that can be a very real skill mm, set. Yeah. Because a lot of people just panic and go, this is not what I planned for. Yeah. Or, These are not my expectations. And so they bail. Yeah. And so and that's not no part of life ever. I, yeah. <laughs> Period. Period. Like yeah. ever. Ever. So. Um, I think one thing that really helped us in understanding that we're always figuring things out as we go is like, we really try to manage our expectations. Cause I think most times when people are upset mm. or frustrated or irritated, it's because their expectations weren't met or they're off. And so we ask that question a lot of each other. Like, especially when we're leaving the house, like if Brooke is leaving with all the kids, we have two of them. Um, <laughs> I don't know why I said oh, all, all of those kids. Um, you know, I'll ask her, what are your expectations of me while you're gone? And like, it might be like, Hey, could you clean the kitchen or could right. you put the dishes away or could you, uh, or it's nothing. Yeah. Um, and that's really kind of helped us understand like, you know, how to not get frustrated. And I don't know how this ties in with jumping in prematurely. Like, well, mostly that like figuring when, out as you go, I don't know. We're just talking about expectations. Yeah. Like when people jump in prematurely, I don't think they have, the, I think jumping in at the right time, you have some more realistic expectations. And yeah. so that allows you to figure it out as you go, because yeah. you're like, okay, I'm going to start this business. And I think I might sell one thing at, you know, my goal is to sell one thing this week. Right. If, if I sold two things, then I'm above expectations. If I didn't sell any, okay, what can I change rather yeah. than be like, oh, I thought I was going to sell a hundred things and I didn't sell any, I'm done. You know yeah. what I mean? Like that, that's shark tank. Math. Yes. Yeah. Don't do shark tank math. If um, a million people <laughs> a million watch. People, okay. And 10% of them buy and they all buy the biggest package and they blah, 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 I'm a millionaire. Blah. I'm a millionaire. Wow. That is Shark Tank. Wow, 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 wow. Mm. Uh, advice for first time parents. That's a, that's a more Figure it out question. as you go. Figure it out as you go. Yeah. Really. Do that, some yep. research because you do have, you know, like nine months warning yep. and you don't have to just jump in blindly. Right. But man, figure it out as you go because it, I don't know, it, it won't be what you expect. In some ways it will be what you expect. In some ways it won't be. Yeah. And that like, that's, that's even when you're not first time parents. Like yeah. Sunny was such a different baby yep. than June. Yeah. And so it's just, yeah, yep. you have to be okay with that, which is easier for some people than others. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Another piece of advice that you gave last time we answered this question yeah. that got deleted by the, by the Lord, um, <laughs> <laughs> by the power outage, by uh, the power of uh, the Lord. <laughs> Right? <laughs> zap. <laughs> I like the zap. 
I think he I don't, does that. I don't, got, I don't think we give God enough credit for the zaps. Yeah. He's definitely up there going, ooh, zap. <laughs> sometimes in a good way, Yeah, though. sometimes not really always, good. Well, yeah, sometimes it's, it's a good more zap. good than not. Yeah. More good zaps than not yeah. good zaps. Um, so <laughs> Side note. Theology. This says line in, not connected. What does that mean? I don't know. All right, well, we're we'll going to it It's out. still recording, yeah. but... <laughs> Figuring it out as you go. Um, the other advice you gave for first time parents is like, get ready to be the the giver and the receiver of a lot of grace. Oh, you know, yeah. that just like your body is going to be beat up, especially mm-hmm. for the moms, like your body's going to get beat up. And then <laughs> I don't know, T, you might fall down the stairs the day before you, I might jump over a chair and break my ankle. And I mean, maybe that, that sounds could... far fetched. <laughs> How could that ever I don't know. happen? That never happened. Yeah. The oh, same hour my water breaks. That seems impossible. That was we won't ba- even go there. That was a bad zap. <laughs> that was a bad. That was a bad zap. Double zap. zap. <laughs> oh God, his ankle. Ooh. What's the what's the name of that? Too far. <laughs> Too far. <laughs> um. Uh, and then my advice, I had more practical advice. Okay. We read this book called Baby Wise, which is a oh, sleep yeah. training book that was super helpful in just like getting our girls to sleep through the night. June was sleeping through the night super early. Yeah. And that just like, once your kid sleeps through the night, you're just like, oh, I'm a human being again. Yeah, that's very um, real. And so that book was super helpful. Uh, for some reason, people have strong feelings about it, which I've never understood. It's just like, well, if you don't want to- Some people don't sleep train. Right. Uh, which, to each his own. More that power to you. Yeah. We all sleep, right? <laughs> Don't we? I'm not saying you got to be a crazy person right. about it, yeah. but but it definitely helped us. Teach your kid yeah. how to sleep. Yeah. Um, and then <laughs> this book, which I'm showing to YouTube, Parenting with Heart, which Ooh. we're giving away at the show Christmas it to that camera. Ready? Extravaganza. Go. Um, this book wow. has just been so helpful for my heart, uh, for being able to just be a kinder, more present parent. Can't recommend it yeah. enough. Um, and then if you're having a daughter and you're a dad, uh, if you're one of the two dads listening, uh, we lost one while you're talking about beauty counter. Oh, yeah. What? Yeah. We, they unsubscribe. No. <laughs> I I'm literally <laughs> thought you meant we lost one. Like we either got a message or literally they're not around zap in a bad way. Yeah. And I was no like, bad zaps. Oh my gosh. They unsubscribe while you're talking about talk your about golden palette. Um, sorry, babe. We lost it's okay. one. Uh, it's really good. The palette is worth it. Ladies. <laughs> Go get it. Uh, there's a really great book called Strong Fathers, Strong Daughters. Yeah. Especially culturally today, masculinity is under attack and we're told not to be dads and not to be assertive and not to be, you know, strong for our kids. Yeah. And there's so much study that shows that that's going to affect them negatively, especially if you have daughters. Yeah. I'm actually rereading the book right now. So it's like fresh on my mind. And they go through these like statistics of girls who have grown up without dads being involved. And it like it, it makes sort of my, it actually makes me nauseous. I'd actually skip parts of the section because I remember it from last time that like it legit makes me nauseous. And so that book yeah. is great for dads. Um, it's definitely sometimes hard to read uh, because of sort of the the dichotomy between the two groups of of young ladies. Yeah. Um, but those three books I think would be my like more practical advice: Baby Wise, Parenting with Heart, and if you're having a daughter, mm-hmm. Strong Fathers, Strong Daughters. Yeah. She also, the same doctor who also wrote that book, wrote a book called Let Them Be Boys, uh, I think, yes, which is sort of the I've flip side of that. Yeah. So I've mm-hmm. never read that because I don't have boys, but um, who knows? I'm sure it's excellent because yeah. the other book is excellent. So that's my advice. Cool. <laughs> As ex-wedding photographers and people who got married, any tips for planning a wedding? Stand your budget. Don't spend a ton of money. That yeah. would be my tip. That'd be your tip. And I'd say um, make it make it your wedding yeah not like the best wedding on instagram or the wedding your mom wants right. or don't write off all your mom's feelings and thoughts don't do that time. yeah that would be bad that would be bad that it's would be not too far yep. but also it is your wedding and yep. so like have you know i don't know yeah have fun with it yeah we did we did and and i don't well i don't regret any of it i was gonna say i don't regret that part <laughs> that's literally what i was about to say and then i panicked because that sounds wrong <clears throat> you don't regret any of it. That's, I don't regret any of it. That's great, what? babe. Thank you. Yeah. Appreciate it. I feel that love. Yeah. Uh-huh. Um, yeah. I feel uh, like I just got a lot louder. Is that real or not real? I don't think that's real. Wow. Maybe I just got a zap of power. You got a zap of power. Okay. <laughs> um, who is the better driver? I am. Um, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Have you ever been pulled over? Yes. Have you ever gotten a ticket? Yes. I've never gotten any of those things. So. Oh, you're so cool. I am. <laughs> In this moment, I am, and I'm going to claim it. Okay. Because we're alone Ask in our June. attic with no friends, <laughs> so this is my 
I'm putting this my stake in the ground. Your here. time to shine. Okay. Um, pineapple on pizza, yes or no? By yes. the way, the answer is always yes. no. Yeah, yes. Pineapple and ham. Hawaiian. Delicious. The best. Refreshing. Pineapple on pizza I've ever had was, it's in Stone Harbor, New Jersey. That's our favorite pa- pizza. At Seven That's Mile Pie. Literally why we go on vacation there. Can't remember there. his name. The guy who owns yep. it. Yep. Kind of looks like the dude in the logo. Yep. Anyway. It is a, you know, it's like a Hawaiian pizza, which is just, the way they do it is so good. But the sauce is a spicy barbecue, yep. which is good. next level. Yeah. You get the sweet of the pineapple, the spicy of the barbecue. Whew. Works real well together. Mama likey. Mama likey. Um, I also like pineapple on my pizza, and Seven Mile Pie is also my favorite pizza place. That's why we go on vacation there. It's legit a big reason why we go on oh, vacation yeah. there, because mm-hmm. we have pizza every day for lunch while we're there. Yep. So good. Um, so good. So good. So good. Uh, I'm new here. How did you start? That's a long story <laughs> that we're not going to tell here. Um, but we did do a three part podcast series on that, uh, kind of the early days of walk and love kind of when Brooke got involved and then sort of the last few years. Uh, so that's, I think they're, they're just the called walk and love part that, one, right? part two, part three. Um, so I would just recommend starting there. People enjoy those episodes. That's one of the, when we ask people what their favorite episodes, your voice oh, matters, cool. Brooke's birth story. Uh, the walk and love story mm. way down on the list. Something about TJ. I'm not better. Uh, it's Bible. fine. <laughs> that, I hope that, one's that one will to start rise. to rise for yes. sure. <laughs> it's just not even called that. People are going to be like, I'm sorry. I'm trying to, it's find called this, our most giggly episode ever. Episode you're talking Should about. I just rename just, it? No. Oh my gosh. Don't <laughs> we finally chart super high and it's only that episode. No. Um, <laughs> okay, have you number nine? Have you ever seen God move in your life in the past month? Yes, all all day, every day. Yeah, I think if you have eyes to see, you'll see it. You know, mm-hmm. like I am grateful that I have breath. I'm grateful that I have a home. I'm grateful for this attic. Like we are constantly trying to give thanks and give all that thanks to God because without Him, none of it's possible. And we really want to believe that. I don't think we always just naturally believe that, but if you really want to believe that, giving thanks is the best way to to thank Him for all things. So. I do see him move in that way. Yeah. Um, how ready are you for Christmas? Uh, very ready. Super ready. We, this will be the more, earliest. More ready than, than normal. I mean, I'm yeah. never not ready, but we're normally, usually I'm like, all oh, right. And like day after Thanksgiving, week after Thanksgiving. We're normally Christmas music starting early November. Right. And then Christmas decorations after Thanksgiving. Yeah. But I think we're going to do it before Thanksgiving this year. So we're super ready. I'm ready to set up um, the tree now. Why did you stop doing photography? Number 11. You haven't. You just well, stopped charging said, people for it. Well, that's true. Yeah. But. It was a time thing. One, well, it was two things. I was I was over it in a good, positive sense. Yeah. I had done good work and shown up there and like worked hard and really overshooting weddings. Yeah, and like I did it. But then when we started having kids, I was like, I don't want to yeah. be gone every weekend. Yep. So it was. It really came. That really like shortened the process of. Yep, I'm done. But you still take photos of our family and I do occasionally a friend if they ask, but yeah. mostly just of us. Mm-hmm. And my extended family when they want to. Oh, I still group. need to edit those. <laughs> Yikes. Yikes. Oh, sorry, mom and dad. Um, <laughs> <laughs> what's the story behind June and Sunny's name? I'll tell June's. June is the month that I was born in. It was the, when we started <laughs> talking about having kids, it was the first name that we decided on that we wanted. Like it was, it almost happened instantly. Which like I've always. I, I don't know where my, I don't know yeah. where I got it from. But we, but both we just agreed. always liked it. It's kind of classic, um, short, simple. It, brings summery happy vibes to your mind which we like and then that led us to being bold enough to use the name Sunny Mm -hmm. which is based off of Brooke's childhood so when Brooke was a little girl her dad was fake announcing gymnastics as you did twirls and trips tricks on the bed I was in the gymnastics I was I was in the Olympics in the Olympics and you won and he goes you know I won the gold medal not a big (laughs) you just won the gold imagine if your dad was like you want silver sorry I'd be like get the mic out of my (laughs) face you know (laughs) <laughs> better than I'm this. the first loser now um and is that what second yeah, place is first, the first loser. loser yeah if you're hardcore that's what it is okay. I'm just like wow I got a medal cool right uh, I will lose this at some point um <laughs> or find it in the garage when I clean my house out at 35 years later just be like what's well, this from yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow we're really not that old um and so he, he said, you know, you just won the gold medal, little girl. What's your name? He said, my name is Sunny Morrow. And that became your nickname basically for your whole life. And, and I, even through when we Yeah, I used married. to call you Sunny more you than mean, I that, called that you. That moment where we got married and I didn't regret it. Yeah. That moment. That moment. I, I was still, still called Sunny then. Yeah. And so 
really we, up until we had her. Yeah. And then it became confusing. Yeah. And so, yeah, we decided that we wanted to pass that nickname down to our daughter and named her Sunny. And so to have June and Sunny is also super cute. Yeah. Now uh, there's a lot of pressure for me. Yeah. If and when we have more kids. Yeah. I'm like, well, those names sound great yeah. together. Yeah. Uh, Bartholomew. Barty. <laughs> Barty. <laughs> is that, would that be a nickname? Bart? Bart. Yeah. Bartholomew. We don't know anybody. I don't yeah. know anybody with that name. Neither do I. I don't know any weirdos like that. Um, Mount Rushmore of types of cheese and go. Number 13. Shredded. In melted. cubes, in blocks, melted. Done. Done. Um, my husband is a nine. What is the best way to encourage a nine without nagging? So <clears throat> nines are in the body. Yep. They are, and if you're not familiar you're with what we're talking, talking about, about the Enneagram, Enneagram um, which we're big fans of, it, it's, it's not, it's a tool to help you grow. It's not. It is not a religion. A religion. <laughs> Let's just relax, Christians. Um, <laughs> zap, zap, <laughs> zap, zap, calm down. Calm down. We're fine. <laughs> Um, so Brooke is a nine. She's in the body. Nines are, you can either wonderful. be, yeah, they're wonderful. They're honestly some of the best people on the history of, in the history of the world. Um, nines can either be an inactive nine or an active nine, um, overactive, overactive nine. <clears throat> so that, that can depends that that will make some variation. Obviously every person is different, but that'll variate. Brooke is an, an active nine. And so she's at her best when she's doing things when she's engaged, doing work, et cetera. So she has a lot of hard time being still. Um, but the best way to encourage her is to, I think for me, is to often say, hey, you can just do this. Like you often feel like, oh, if, I, if I'm doing work, then I'm not being a good mom. If I'm being a mom, then I'm missing out on work. Or like you kind of feel that tension of like, what am I doing to prove that I have worth or value? Because right. you're in the body. <clears throat> also met with this like other side of you that's like, I don't want to do any of it. At times. Right. Also, don't tell me what to do. Also, don't tell me also, what to do. please guide me because I don't know what to do. <laughs> yeah, so there's a lot of confusion there. But I think the best way to encourage a nine is to encourage them to be present where they are. Like yeah. to not yeah. kind of overthink or over-examine what else they could be actively doing. Um, and then to give them their time to rest right. the way that they want to rest. Right. So like I, I like resting by sitting on the couch and binge watching whatever I can or playing video games, that does not fill Brooke up. But what does is if she can go to Old Navy by herself and shop for kids clothes, if she can go just drive to Starbucks and get a drink and drive back, like those are okay, things. Okay, be alone. Be alone. <clears throat> and so I would just, that that's what I would say to encourage a nine is like find ways that they find rest that is rest on their terms, not on what you think their terms should right. be. I think that's good. I don't know. Yeah. That's, that's all good advice. It all depends on the person, yeah. which is hard. Um, nines can be very stubborn, and so they really, they really what? don't want to be told what to do. Um, huh? <laughs> what? <laughs> um, and I've lost my train of thought. So uh, it'll come back to me. Yeah. Move on, and maybe I'll maybe I'll remember what I was about to say. Yeah. Um, the basement is flooding. The attic is on fire. What two items do you save? I don't know. My children. Yeah. Well, so if my kids are my kids aren't here. Our kids aren't here, so right. I'd probably grab one of these air fryers, <laughs> brand new, out of the box. I get it. Yeah. You hurl that up those flaming stairs yep. before you climb out that window. Yep. Um, and I would also save my phone. Yeah, because that's got all of our photos and stuff yeah. on it. I mean, it's in the cloud, but I don't really understand how that works. So <laughs> We're not positive it's being backed <laughs> up, so. Um, uh, if you could tell your, what would you say? Gosh, I don't know. There's not a lot of stuff in our basement. What if? Fire that changes it because then it's more of an action sequence. Right. Yeah. Um, I might save, if there was any sort of mem like memory or memento stuff down there, I'd grab that. But I, th I don't think it's down there. Yeah. Maybe so my Xbox, know. maybe a TV. I don't know. Yeah. I'm not, know. I'm not super sentimental. No. I, you know, I'm like, oh, here's a box of old photos. Do we need this? It's taking up space. <laughs> <laughs> to the Garbage. trash. Um, if you give one piece of advice to your younger self around question 16, what would it be? Save money. Yeah. Hands down. Yeah. Lean into what the Lord has for you, but a more practical advice would be save money. Yeah. But, and mine would be um, to try to find, oh, this is where I was going with um, nines being stubborn. So I'm going to answer both things. Okay. Um, a gift you could give a nine, so there, or also when you're younger, <laughs> um, would be to try to find the language to figure out figure out what it is you're trying to say yeah. in life earlier yeah um and so that's a gift you could give to a nine like 
you know, we, we've we read a lot, you and me, meaning you and me, Dee, like we've read a lot of the same books, we've listened to the same podcasts, and so we are on the same page, we are in the same boat when it comes yep. to having certain conversations and trying to figure out what is, like, what am I trying to say? Why, why, why do, do I, I feel, feel this, this way? way? How do I explain this? Instead of just saying, like, I'm sad or I'm yeah. this. Um, but, man, if you could figure that out, no matter what number you are, who you are when yeah. you're younger, um, your life will be the better. ability to communicate well and deeply and fully yeah. is so, so valuable. Well, open your heart to experience more joy and more love and more peace. Um, and you probably won't be as angsty as a teenager. <laughs> you might miss out on the greatest genre of music of all time, emo, but that's fine. It's okay. It's worth, that's it's worth, worth it. It's worth it. Yeah. Um, uh, is it no, dashboard? Okay. I don't know. Um, <laughs> what discount code one Borky beat Garky. Sorry, babe. Yeah. You're kind of upset okay. about it. It's fine. Um, I've moved on. It's okay. What, any other good conversation starters to add besides strong feelings in Mount Rushmore? So a lot of you guys use our two segments to start conversations. If you're in awkwardly silent groups, um, which is fun. I think my favorite one, my favorite go-to is, uh, what's the most exciting thing that's happened to you in the last 30 days? Yeah. Uh, that one, cause that you start it's to learn because of the time frame. you're limiting it. Yeah. You're limiting it. And you're what's going on lately. <clears throat> yeah. Nothing, I don't know. nothing, you know, yeah. nothing, same old, right. well, you know, people are hard to break through their shell and talk to cause people don't understand how to express themselves, mm, which is, interesting. you know, it's hard. It takes it a long hard. time to learn. Um, and you kind of never stop learning it. But I would say if you can ask people what excites them and they can give you an honest answer, you now have opened an avenue to like more you, conversation. Yeah, you kind of crack the wall to kind of, you know, yeah. let's breach. Breach. Breach in the wall. Yeah. Attack. <laughs> so you like rock With tumblers. Love. What kind of rocks do you like? Mm. Yeah. Tell me about them rocks. Sediment. I don't know. Um, Sedimentary. That is a kind. <laughs> yeah, I know. Wow. That's very cool. You're so smart, babe. Wow, 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 wow. Um, would you ever consider homeschooling? Question number 18. Yes. Yes. Or 19. Yes. Yes, we would we would consider homeschooling. Yeah. Uh I, I'm not a believer in setting something and forgetting it. Like right. you know, like, oh, they're public school forever, or they're homeschool forever, right. or they're definitely going to college or whatever. Like, yeah. you know, I think life comes at you in a lot of different ways and you kind of have to tinker with it and kind of adjust. Figure it out. Figure it out as you go. go. Um, and then question number 20, upstairs or downstairs? Upstairs. Upstairs. I can officially say yeah. upstairs. Upstairs. Amazing. We love the attic. We're here. We're here and we're excited to be here. And we're hoping that this video worked. <laughs> we'll put it on YouTube, put it on Facebook. Yeah. Um, if it's not there, it didn't work. Right. You're just listening so you to just the podcast. You just got to close your eyes and imagine, and imagine what this whole thing looked like. Yeah. Do people imagine what we're talking about? If you are listening to a podcast and you've never seen, like you've never seen an Instagram, you've never seen their setup, do, do you give it some space in your mind to think about like? No. I think I do. A little bit. But no. then maybe only if I've seen, I think I, I've seen Like we listen to Dadville and I know what Dave Barnes looks like. And right. I know some of the funny facial expressions that he makes because he's hysterical. So good. So I kind of picture him doing picture that it. kind of stuff. I'm realizing, I guess I don't listen to many people that I don't no. also know or follow elsewhere. Right. So Which I already true. know where they're sitting because I've seen it. Uh, funny story about that. We were listening one time to Ray Lamonte. Trouble, 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 yeah. trouble, trouble. And Brooke like walked by my screen and his photo was on uh, his album. And she's yeah. like, who is that? And I said, well, it's Ray Lamonte who we're listening to. I thought it was Ray Lamontagne. Ray Lamontagne. And you were like, what? Because you thought he was black. Well, I just, he sounds like this, so, <laughs> such a soulful individual. And he's I like did. a grizzly. He's like a skinny little hipster white kid. Mountain man. Yeah. And I was like, yeah. oh, man. <laughs> oh, Image wow. shattered. Shattered. <laughs> man. That's crazy when that does happen, when you're like, you picture someone a certain way, and yeah. you finally see him, and you're like, wow. Or you meet someone in person, and you're like, I was you are off. four inches taller than I thought yeah. you were. Yeah. Good times. Wow. Anyways, yeah. we hope this all worked. We hope it sounds better. We did get newer microphones, but we're still sort of figuring them out. Um, but it should sound just the same. We kind of did a test run. We did a two-minute test run where we just said the word butthole for two Wait, minutes. Wait, no. Um, Said farts. <laughs> Let's be real. Anything to add before we go? No. I'm hoping this works. I'm hoping this works. And this is going to be the new thing. We're going to record on Wednesday, which is today, but it will release a couple of days later. So if you feel like there's some timing off if you like follow us on stories and instagram uh, and we're not talking about certain things yeah 
that's because we're because we recorded a couple days early. Couple guys. couple days early. Just to, it just works better with our schedule. Both yep. girls are out of the house on Wednesday, so that helps a ton. So our only friends are gone. Works our out. only friends are gone, so we can record <laughs> in our attic alone. Anything to add? Nope. <laughs> okay, okay, I love, love you. Bye. bye.